Recently, I was asked how I would market a mystery tour company. Shaheen from our team was meeting with a company in Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky that does these really cool tours. And he wondered, is what we do for restaurants the same thing this owner should do? And I told him, I don't know. Send me some links, let me dig into it, and then I'll do a podcast and a blog. Today is that podcast. My goal is to help to help restaurant owners finally get to where they want to go. But more than that, my goal is to find entrepreneurs within that segment that actually know what it means to hustle. That's my goal. Come on the journey with me. Restaurant Marketing Secrets, episode 753. I'm your host, Matt Plapp, and today we're going on a tour together. We're going on a marketing tour with American Legacy Tours. This is a business that Shaheen from the driver team was meeting with a few weeks ago about marketing. Now, Shaheen's question was, Matt, will Driver work with a business like this? And do all of the tactics we preach apply to a business like this as well? Now, we work with almost exclusively restaurants. We do have a few clients that own other entities that we piggyback on their marketing. One, as an example, is in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, and Branson, Missouri. We run marketing for their restaurants, but also we piggyback that with other things they own in town like go-kart tracks, amusement parks, arcades, and 3D rooms, and the mirror mazes, all that fun stuff. So this has a lot of similarities, except I would think the majority of this traffic is going to be geared around local people. So I'm just going to walk you through what I'm looking at here and give you some ideas off the top of my head. Maybe this client could do what we do with Driver. Maybe this client needs to put some things in place on their own and just do some really badass content creation and ads. I don't know. Let's find out. Number one, I'm at AmericanLegacyTours.com. They've got tours, gift cards, private tours, and I have heard of a few of these. I have not heard of all of these, and I got to say, I am very intrigued. Now, I am a little sissy. The Haunted Tours are not my jam. But the Newport Gangster Tour, which I've heard of, sounds cool as could be. Cave One, the Hidden Caverns Tour, sounds really cool. The Ultimate Queen City Underground Tour, sounds awesome. So these look pretty damn cool. So they've got a really good lineup here. Now, one thing I'm curious on is if they have partnerships with restaurants and had it to where you met at the restaurant, had your meal, got out, went on the tour, or the tour happened and ended at a restaurant. A lot of opportunity there. And obviously, that's going to be determined by where the tour starts and ends, but I got to think there's a lot of opportunities within that. So now I go to Facebook. I see they got a solid following. They've got Instagram rocking on here. They've got some really good videos. Now, first, how would I attack this plan? Number one, I would create a contest around every single type of tour, their food and drink tours, their mystery tours, because people like me, if I saw something that was like win a contest into all of these tours and it was the haunted ones, I'd be like, eh, I'm good. But the Hidden Cavern Tour, I'd be like, heck yes, sign me up. So number one, I would have a pop-up on their website. I would have ads running on Facebook and Instagram all the time for the different types of tours. And I look on here, they've got food and drink, haunted, historic, underground. So there's four different categories there. That is four contests they should be running at all times. The next thing is I would be running Facebook and Instagram ads targeting the people who engage with those contests as well as retargeting the people who engage in my content because Instagram I would think is a gold mine for having content around this I would find some different influencers in town like in Cincinnati there's a lady called Maria on the wild I would find an influencer like Maria to pop in and do some of the tours and then leverage that content as a collaboration the people that engage retarget them with ads with the contest I would have the comment growth tool hooked up to every Instagram and Facebook post that when people comment, they go to Facebook Messenger and they are enrolled in the contest and then given a high value call to action. I would also target people within 45 minutes to maybe an hour and a half of Cincinnati, Northern Kentucky. Why? Because they need stuff to do. As an example, if you were to go from Cincinnati down to Lexington and maybe even the Louisville, I think you would attract some people. Maysville, Kentucky, which is part of Northern Kentucky, about 45 minutes out, all day long you would attract people. And then if you go north of Cincinnati, up into the Kettering, Dayton area, yes, maybe not all the way to Columbus because they got their own stuff and it's a little too far away, Indianapolis too far away, but I think you could do a nice radius of like say 60 to 75 miles and cover a lot of ground where people might have an excuse to come into town, which 
I think would make it even more advantageous to have some partners on the restaurant side to where these tours piggyback there. But so the answer to Shaheen's question, I would do exactly what we do. Number one, he's got to attract attention. I think you're going to attract attention with viral social media content about these tours, storytelling, what they're all about, some of the different nuances, like there's a video on their Instagram that's got 46,000 views where the lady's talking about how alcohol in Cincinnati is highly taxed and it's some of it's going to the school, so technically she's drinking for the kids. Great freaking video. I would do a lot of videos that highlight these little tiny segments, these little tiny nuggets from these tours. And I would be posting a video every single day. I would be putting those over on Facebook as well. Also on X, I would even look at LinkedIn because I could see businesses doing this. I'd be running ads to the audiences that engage in those for my contest. And then when people enroll in the contest, I'd be hitting them with an offer to sign up and come to one of the tours. And if they happen to win the contest, your ticket will be refunded. I 100% believe our ABR method fits this. Attract, build, retain. Attract attention with some awesome content around the tours, the history of the tours, some little nuggets inside there. Build a database off of contesting and getting people to engage and then retain their attention by retargeting them with Facebook and Instagram ads based on their engagement of your website, your contest, and your content based on email and text messaging of them registering. And then also pick up the phone, have a conversation with these people and fill these tours. The last one I would target would be company events. I would run Facebook and Instagram ads targeting companies. Local businesses, are you looking for something fun and engaging to do with your team? Click here to register to win one of our legacy tours for your company. I think that's also an opportunity because not only could you get a company to register and come do it, but you could also get all of those people that come on that tour to come back to other tours. So there is my idea on how you could use the ABR method, which we use inside of Driver for a place like American Legacy Tours. And by the way, I will be signing up. A few of these look awesome. Thanks. Talk to you tomorrow. Break time. I need a huge favor. Go to theheroesofhospitality.com and check out our brand new docu-series for 2024. We're creating eight episodes to chronicle the journey of our business. We're going to be traveling the country, telling your stories as it relates to growing your restaurant's marketing. And you're going to be able to see behind the curtain of what we're building, why we're building it, and how it will benefit the restaurant industry as a whole.